Hi, first grade families. I just want to go over this short week we have. So you can see it's day 94. We're getting close to day 100. It's next week on Wednesday, January 27th, but we're going to be celebrating all week. Since it falls on our Wednesday e-learning day, we will celebrate before and after. But what you can do is go ahead and send in your child's 100 collection. And then next week, either on Tuesday or Thursday, your child can dress up as 100. They can wear a shirt or clothes or a hat that has a 100 of something on it. Or they can dress up as a 100-year-old person. And it doesn't matter which day because we're celebrating all week. So we are continuing a lot of our skills from last week. We had to do two days of NWEA testing. That takes up a lot of time. So we are continuing the same story that you'll find right here on my way to school. Um, some things that I had planned for last week are pushed to this week just because I didn't know how long it would take. And that really, um, when they do take that test, that takes a lot out of them. So it's hard to ask little kids to do even more things, more testing. So we're going to continue this week. Um, in math, we are continuing. We're going to finish up subtraction and fact families. Um, we're going to have an assessment on Friday. Um, we're going to finish up our story and have that assessment on comprehension on Friday. On OG, we are going to start long A on Wednesday on e-learning day the OG video will be teaching about long A and then we'll be on our long vowels for a while so that will be new and we're going to um, on some writing stories we've got some Martin Luther King writing we're going to be doing some more snowman writing and at school we're continuing our research on penguins and other arctic animals so in language, if you want to take a look at any of these boxes, you can see the outline for the week. Um, we're going to continue with suffixes we're learning about. Also, how to use a comma, comma, and in a series of items. We're going to be starting that. So um, I think everything seems to be the same. You can use this the, um, to find our classroom library to read books. Um, and we'll keep going. Now, in a normal year, your child would be having, um, using more manipulatives and having more books in their hand. But so you know, this is not a normal year, obviously. And so in our classroom, we are really restricted on what we are allowed to do. Hopefully that changes soon. But like, um, I can't pull them up to me in a rocking chair format to do things. I can't let them touch my manipulatives or um, use my items and stations. So, um, you know, our learning is a lot different. Even though we're in green, it's still it's still a lot different. And um, that's just how we have been told to, to do things. So hopefully that changes soon and um, things can get a little bit better. So... Um, I think that's it, though. We will continue doing our same things. Hopefully, you can click on these boxes and take a look. And um, remember, on e-learning Wednesdays, um, make sure you're checking your child's seesaw work before they send it. They are very getting very independent. They can do seesaw on their own, but they still need a grown-up to kind of look over the material and make sure they understood what to do and did it right. I try to make as much as I can audio so they can hit that. But um, if they don't have someone check it, then they're doing it wrong. And I try to send notes back, but sometimes they ignore those. So please just give a little check. Maybe say to them, before you hit the green check button, show it to me. And that way, um, they, they are doing it correctly and learning the correct way. Um, I know it's not the best situation, but we're doing the best with what we have and what we are doing. And... Um, you know, they're learning a lot of things on their technology and seesaw, which is wonderful. They're going to be very prepared in that part. But just give a little check on the on what they're learning just to make sure they're doing it right. And if you have any questions, please let me know.